Google has released Code Gemma. So this is a 7 billion and 2 or 2 billion LLM large language model which excels in code generation. Uh, it is also it also has uh, you know uh, natural language understanding, excels in mathematical reasoning. Uh, mainly it is for code generation. Okay, so I thought I'll build a chatbot, Python coding chatbot with the help of Code Gemma. So where I input text in natural language and I get output as Python code. So there are two variants, a 2 billion model, a 7 billion model, and there is a 7 billion instruction fine-tuned variant of Code Gemma. So I'll be making use of this 7 billion instruction fine-tuned variant. So the model is available on Hugging Face and I already have access to it. You have to apply for access and you'll get access. Okay. And uh, you need a hugging face access token also over here. So you can create an access token over here by going to your hugging face settings. And you can go over here to access tokens and here you can create an access token. So I've done that. Okay. So that will be required in the collab notebook. Right. Now let's go to our collab notebook. Here I'm making use of a L4 GPU uh, instance. So L4 GPU is a new GPU instance available in collab for paid customers. And this has l4 gpu card has 22.5 gb ram okay uh, um, this model when i loaded it took close to 16.1 gb ram in the 7 billion instruction fine-tuned model in b float 16 precision okay so first i need to upgrade uh, transformers over here i generally do it because some of the models work with uh, latest versions okay so i uh, upgrade the transformers package then i install gradio and certain other libraries Okay, Gradio is for the UI. Uh, here is where I load my uh, Code Gemma model. Uh, so for this, what I do is that from Transformers, I import Auto Tokenizer, Auto Model for Causal LLM, import Transformers, import Torch, model ID is equal to Google Code Gemma 7B, uh, instruction fine-tuned model, D type is this, tokenizer, here I am creating the tokenizer from the model ID, and I am also loading the model, device map is equal to CUDA to make use of the graphics card. So when I run this, it will ask for my Hugging Face Access token. So I've created a token over there under my account and I've copied over here as a secret. Okay. Uh, so you have to grant access. Then the model will be loaded. As I said, it takes close to six, uh, 16 GB RAM. Okay. 16 GB graphics uh, VRAM basically. Right. Then I write a small predict function where I take the user input and try to generate the response from code Gemma, the 7B instruction fine tuned model. So for that, I create a chat template like this role user content input. So this is my uh, chat uh, thing. Uh, then uh, I apply a chat template and I get my prompt. So how does this prompt look like? So if you go to hugging face over here under code Gemma, this thing, this is how the prompt will look like. So when I apply the prompt template, it will convert it like this. Uh, beginning of uh, this thing, start of turn user, right? Um, this will be my input basically, whatever I give as input, end of turn, start of turn model. Okay, as you see, each turn is preceded by start of turn delimiter and in the role of the entity user for content supplied by the user or model for the LLM responses. Turn finishes with end of turn token. So this is how it actually generates uh, basically the prompt uh, by when you do this, uh, you know, uh, tokenizer.apply chat template, your text is converted like this into a prompt. Okay. So that is what is happening over here. Then the prompt is converted into tokens by uh, tokenizer. It encodes it into tokens and returns the tensors. So basically for the tokens, that is your inputs to the model. And then you call model to generate. Uh, you pass these inputs to the model device. Basically, you push the inputs to the GPU and then uh, you generate your output. Okay. And you use tokenizer to decode your outputs. And this is your output response, which you will be pushing it back to the UI. Okay. So now all you need for creation of an UI is import Gradio as GR, a GR chat interface dot launch hair is equal to true. And here you have your URL, okay, for your uh, input, all right? Um, so I wanted to try out this particular program, which is about writing a Python program, which makes use of SkyKit Learn, okay, breast cancer classification data set, and performs classification on the same using logistic regression and displays the same uh, displays the classification metrics okay uh, i'll copy that over here and i will say submit let's wait for the response it is quite fast is what i observed uh, wait, let's wait for the response 
okay so it is close to 12 seconds now 15 seconds 18 seconds yeah so the response the code has been generated over here user write a python program which makes use of skykit learn and this is the code which has been generated okay if you see over here from skykit learn it imports this particular data set it loads this breast cancer data set it splits it into this kind of a test size and then it generates this particular code all right now we can copy this code all right and let's try let's make a copy of this okay and i have a notebook over here all right let me delete this previous code let me copy this and let me just run it okay probably i did not copy it properly let me just run it basically it runs the code and it gives this particular output over here so the code generated is syntactically correct it is also semantically correct because i am going to make use of logistic regression over here okay now you could tell that this is a code which is directly present in the uh, repository of skykit-learn and it is just reproducing it. So let's make a change to this code and let's say that, you know, let me copy this. All right. And let's clear. Let's copy this and say that instead of logistic regression, use SVM. Okay. Use SVM and let's say that perform classification on the same using svm uh, okay and let's see that uh, mm -hmm. let test set uh, test set size be 50 percent let's see what happens okay and displays classification metrics let's submit this again we need to wait for close to 20 seconds or something I'm hoping it is 20 seconds or uh, this time. I'm not sure. Let's wait for it. So this is like your own uh, chatbot, right? Coding chatbot where you enter text in natural language and you are getting code as output. Okay. So let's try this. Again, I'll copy it over here. and run it in a collab notebook this is a gpu instance ah here okay yeah this is the end of this thing which comes in but otherwise i think this code will be proper okay see test size is equal to 0.5 so it is actually changed this parameter over here right uh which i wanted okay and it is making use of a svm classifier over here and it has done it okay so in this way, you can make use of this chatbot to generate Python code for you. Okay. Now, what is the coverage of Python code? What kind of scenarios it will not work? What kind of scenarios it will work? I have not done any exhaustive testing. Okay. But based on the benchmarks, it is supposed to do well on coding tasks. So this is a small video on how you can use code Gemma and how you can create a coding chatbot which can work as an as coding assistant for you i hope this video is useful i'll be sharing this notebook uh, collab notebook in the description of the video do check out see you in another video